going to just be important for just training and kind of warming up. So we'll kind of go through a couple of different drills. So a really simple one just to kind of get the shoulder through a full range of motion. So as the more I flex my shoulder, the more my scapula is going to elevate. So this is a band over and back. What's nice about using the band versus a, a stick or a PVC pipe is the band will stretch. So if I want to make it a little bit harder, I can obviously grab the band itself. So like right here, I would, ha I would have to stop. Otherwise, but since I'm using the band, I can stretch it and find out a situation where it's comfortable for me. So I'm going through flexion. Now my scap's elevating a little bit. It's elevating a little bit. Now it's maximally elevated. And now it's going to start to depress and externally rotate. So my shoulder's going through a full range of motion there. Another good drill is just working on shoulder extension. So I like to grab an underhand grip, hinge position, and try to do some straight arms. So I'm getting to full stretch, getting my arms overhead. So that's going to be really effective for learning to pull the bar out in a bench and also keeping the bar close and like a deadlift. So that's just a kind of an overhead band pullover. And next drill would be a banded face pull where I'm going to retract. I'm going to spread the band apart. I'm going to pull it towards my chin. And I'm really trying to protract the scapula at the top and retract the scapula at the finish. And then the last one, which is always good, would be a band pull apart. Start shoulder width and then extend. We want to try and do that with a straight arm and we want to keep the shoulders down. If I could turn the band a little bit at the, the very end, that's even better. So I'm trying to pinch my shoulder blades together at the finish, and I want to really kind of think about my scapula kind of gliding around my rib cage. Now, some people will kind of argue that I'm getting some kind of tricep work and stuff because of the bands are trying to pull me this way, which I would say is true to an extent. So, but the nice thing about this is you only need one band. If I have two bands, doing some sort of kind of reverse fly is I would say even better. But again, what's nice about these exercises is you only need one band uh, and it's a really simple series. Uh, Dr. John Russell has an even better kind of sequence of this. I think he calls it like the Russell band, like warm up. So if you want more information on that, you can check out his stuff. Uh, we just had a great course with him. If, you, if the band is too much tension, use half the band. This is a warm-up. Uh, one of the things that Jesse Burdick had me do to keep my shoulders healthy, sometimes I would have to do like 300 <laughs> band pull apart to work out. Uh, that was very helpful. And truthfully, I should probably be doing more. You can also use a micro mini band for a lot of people. Because again, the goal is good scapular mechanics. So we want to do something that we can handle. Other things to consider just for overall general like shoulder stability, something like a bamboo bar would be good. Uh, any type of kind of unstable push-up, maybe push-ups with your, push-up, when I say unstable push-up, not with your feet, but making unstable with your hands. So doing like a TRX push-up, doing like a BOSU ball push-up, even something like a dumbbell bench would be more unstable than a straight bar. Um, and again, finding those positions where we can kind of keep a good position. We don't want to lose our shoulder position. So things like bamboo bar and push-ups. Uh, and anytime you're doing shoulder work, make sure we're not jerking and, go, and really kind of grinding that joint and impinging. So if we're doing lateral delt raises that we're actually moving our, our delt and not just swinging, okay, and using a lot of momentum. So how we perform a lot of our systems work is going to be key as well. So now I want to talk about some things that we could do for relief. Uh, so 
obviously, uh, and this was kind of in a lot of our other videos, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but doing a la lacrosse ball for the pec, and going through the different inches of motion that we're going to do for the workout is going to be very important. Uh, you can do the same thing for the lap. So we'll maybe go in the other room really quick. Once we're done, we'll just go through that stuff quickly. But I want to just go over a couple other things that I think are really good for the shoulder. So something that I like that kind of just helps me day to day, for some people this is a little bit controversial, but I do like a lot of Donnie Thompson stuff. It's Donnie Thompson's bow tie. Um, now, is this going to magically improve your posture and all that? I don't think so. But I do think I really like to wear this uh, for my warm up. And I also like to wear this throughout the day. What I really like about it is it does provide some compression on the chest and it really just kind of helps to kind of force the shoulders back in a good position. So it's just kind of teaching you and reminding you of where your shoulder blades should be in good posture and also provide some compression. So uh, if I'm putting this on myself, I will actually use like a dowel rod. So I just want to show you guys how to do that. So I'll usually, uh, I'll usually use this pre warm up for almost every single day. So I like to kind of put this down here. And as you can see, I'm just sitting a little bit taller. It's putting some pressure on my bicep and also my chest. So a lot of times, sometimes when we get shoulder pain, it could be coming from like a bicep tendon issue and things like that. So definitely refer a lot of the stuff that we talked about in the, in the elbow episode kind of goes hand in hand with like the bicep, getting some bicep work and making sure that the bicep tendon is healthy as well. So sometimes we might make mistake shoulder pain for some sort of like kind of bicep tendonitis problem uh, and things like that. So definitely t t consider that as well. So I really like warming up with the bow tie. Uh, it's going to allow me to get into a better position when I squat, when I bench, and when I deadlift. Because again, this is going to be the finished position I want to be to be in. So I'm just spending more time in a good position. Uh, so I do think it can be very effective. All right. So one thing I really like is just going to give you just some some you know temporary relief, which I really like. I'm just going to do a voodoo floss for the, the chest. Um, for bigger guys, I like to use two bands. Just for the sake of this video, we're going to just use one. Um, you can also use a knee wrap as well. The inter grippers work really well for this. Uh, today, we're just going to use a duty floss band. And again, this is just going to provide some compression for the pec. Uh, I like to kind of pull over the top this way because it's going to kind of pull the shoulder kind of down in position. You don't want to go so tight under the armpit because there's a lot of nerves there, but I'm going to go pull tight over the top. And kind of just like a knee wrap type situation where we just kind of lay over half. So it's got a sweatshirt on, so this is like isn't perfect, but I just want to show for the video. So even with Elvis, I'd probably use, I'd want to use like another band with him. But we're just going to tie it off for now. And I can get him on the floor here. And he can kind of just go through some internal and external rotations of the shoulder. If I was a physical therapist, but I'm not, I could put some pressure on him as well. He can get a ball behind there also and just kind of work some tissue as well. Good. And even just kind of like keeping the band on for like two minutes or so can be helpful just to kind of give some relief. This was definitely one of my favorites uh, when I was coming back from one of my first uh, kind of shoulder injuries. So again, even with him, uh, probably, you know, most people that are bigger, maybe like over, you're over 200 pounds, uh, you're probably going to need like two bands. Uh, now we'll just kind of just go through just really quickly some just some soft tissue stuff that can give you some relief. Uh, one thing that really helps me personally is doing like a lap with a foam roller. So a lot of people will just roll forward and back, which is great. But one thing I like to do is kind of pin a certain area and then I'll go through internal and external rotation and a little bit of flexion. And also I will come all the way and do like kind of a 3D. So I'm just getting all the tissue here. And this is something that I've been doing consistently so it actually is feeling a little bit better. And I would obviously do that on both sides. And if I want to do my chest, I can do the same thing here. I could kind of do a little Mr. Miyagi thing here and just work on moving my scapula. So 
We get in the lats and the chest is good. And like I said, we talked about using the lacrosse ball as well, but I wanted to show that variation with the foam ruler as well. So there's shoulder, I think it can get really tricky. But the first thing is obviously just look at the program. Are you doing too much pressing? Are you not doing enough horizontal pulling? Are you pushing the intensity too high where you're losing scap mechanics and shoulder mechanics? Are you using an appropriate grip? Are you warming up properly? Are you warming up at all? Uh, are you getting your, making your shoulder go through a full range of motion? Are you, do you have enough variety uh, in your pressing movements? Or do you just competition bench over and over and over again? Because that's gonna be a recipe for disaster long term. Now when you're close to a competition, specificity is king. But if you're not close to a competition, don't be afraid to add some variety into your training. Uh, so that's really all I have to say about that, uh, about shoulders. So we'll probably conclude there. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video helped you. I hope this helps you. If it does, if maybe someone that could use, use this information, please share it with them. If you like the content, please subscribe. If you want to support the program, you guys can check the links below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.